all brains develop in the same way, and for some this can lead to quite specific difficulties with learning, such as dyscalculia, which involves problems with numeracy. Could you count in twos for me and see how many twos we've got in the ta on the table, how many groups of two? Toby is dyscalculic. He's bright in all other subjects, yet a basic maths problem confounds him. He can't make the usual connections. Fourteen. Fifteen. Nearly. Fourteen. Sixteen. Seven. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty. Professor Brian Butterworth is the leading authority on dyscalculia in the UK. Dyscalculia is a problem in acquiring numeracy. Specific to numeracy, it doesn't apply necessarily to other branches of mathematics. It's really a problem of understanding simple number concept. How the brain processes maths is, is, is slightly complicated. It involves two areas of the brain, here in the parietal lobes and also in the frontal lobes. And the important thing to remember, particularly in relation to dyscalculia, is that the, the numerical processing is essentially a parietal lobe function. One of the implications of Professor Butterworth's research is that the highly specialised system in the brain used to process simple number concepts is defective. Here at Emerson House, right, Specialist Support Centre for Children with Numeracy and Literacy Difficulties, they work to help children deal with dyscalculia number problems by using very structured multi-sensory teaching, focusing on sets of concrete objects. Most dyscalculic children um, are not able to subitize, which means they can't recognize small arrays of dots without counting them one by one. Whereas typical children would see three dots and just know it was a three. So we train these children using familiar dice patterns, which most young children know anyway. So we've got the dot pattern of six, three and three, and we've got the dot pattern of eight. Which two numbers can you see in there hiding? Four and four. It's very important that they tr are trained to reason from key facts, such as five and five, because reasoning um, is the one thing that dyscalculic children find very difficult. Can you make 11 for me now? How would we go one more? 10. 11. Mm -hmm. Carry on. One more. 11. 20. Careful. 11, 12, 12. At the moment, one of the problems is that most people take the view that the child is stupid. Uh, that teachers take this view very often. Parents certainly take this view. The children themselves take this view. Why is it that they can't add 3 plus 3 even though they're 9 years old? It has to be because they're stupid. If you can demonstrate that there's something specific, uh, confined, in the brain of that child, then the diagnosis won't be stupidity, it'll be something specific. Rather in the way that 30 years ago people were able to demonstrate that dyslexia is a specific disability and more recently it's associated with uh, abnormal brain structure and abnormal brain activity.